Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to Teardown. More specifically, welcome back to the campaign, baby. Today, we're going to get further into it. And, well, in the last episode, we had storms to deal with. The episode before, we had robots to deal with. Who knows what we'll have to deal with today, but one way to find out, and that's by getting into it. All right, what's up, Parisa? The shipping logs gave a hit, a very distant hit, actually. How would you feel about leaving the cold weather for a trip to Matori Island? A whole new map? It'll be like a free vacation. Well, almost. All right, so I'm fine with going somewhere sunny. Oh my God, we're actually flying there. This is so, what a cut scene. God, they really improved the campaign. Don't get me wrong. It was fun at the start, but now it's so freaking different. All right, you're just going to go on the beach? Okay, cool. Well, here we are. I guess I'm on vacation in this episode, guys. Oh my god. I didn't expect this this episode. But this is more my style. Unpack my luggage. I'm actually on vacation. Ah, oh, this is nice. All right, we unpacked it. Oh, uh, pick up my tools. Oh, there, there they are. Okay, sick. Hope you have settled in after a long flight. I'm sorry about the rest of your tools. I just couldn't find a way to get them through security. My contact at the local PD gave me some intel on their alarm system. We need to shut it off in order to access their storage rooms. The alarm system can only be disabled unnoticed. If the terminals are hacked within one minute, it's a bit of a run, but I have faith in you. Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh man, even the visuals are slightly different. The colors are different. This is great. Okay, so here we are at our attack point. So we need to hack at least two main security terminals and at least two communication stations within 60 seconds. So we can get out of here with four. Obviously, I'm going to try eight or sorry, six, though. Now, we learned in last episode, let's make sure I see them all beforehand. Uh, yeah, that looks to be about it. I think starting over at this far location is the best bet. It looks like we have boats at our disposal looks like is that that is not a vehicle that's an explosion there's got to be vehicles around here though this is actually going to be hard because it's islands all right we do have a jeep here good this is so freaking cool the the amount of detail here is insane too what was that got some golden 28 inch rims baby that was a good one is there please don't tell me there's actually sharks uh what is that okay a hunting rifle interesting good thing i came up here okay this is actually a hack point got it all right so we got another ladder here ladder going down there this is gonna be a hard job just the terrain alone is uh gonna be great to deal with okay we got a gun so i i do have to go around what the hell what the hell is this all right i just want to see what kind of damage it does so i i saved real quick okay so it's essentially a giant cannon. I don't know if I really have a use for it, though. Unless I can maybe knock one of the things I got to grab out of the air. Like the one that was up at that platform. I really want to see what's in here. So I'm going to break open the lock. Just to see if it's worth it to go inside these. Okay, so we do have bombs. I guess that was worth it. This is fun. Not having my weapons is going to totally change. Is that a hot dog? Oh, golden grills were 390. Okay, that was worth it. Aha, scuba tank, shotgun, my favorite. Still only three shots, so it's not like we have a lot. A hidden area down here. That boat's probably a pretty good one, it looks like. It looks like it's specialized. Oh my God, what the hell? Oh, well, that's cool. Yes, planks, my favorite for heist missions. And another freaking gun. Okay, so there is a second floor in here. You can see it here. Can't open that door. All right, I hold on. I, I actually have a tree here. I can be a monkey. Sick. Ah, uh, so this is what I have to hack. So I can probably just shoot that, I'm assuming. Let me just see if there's anything in here. Okay, this is open. Sick. There's loot down there. Perfect. Loot up here as well. Oh, yeah, this is a good zone. So let me just confirm something. If I was to aim this at that... I can't actually aim it any higher than this. That's unfortunate. It's clunky. It's weird. Anyways. That didn't do anything. Okay, so I can hit that with that with this. It takes a few shots, but that's okay. And that will technically be a hack, I guess. All right, we're finding more things. We got a whole slums area here, including a few vehicles we can use. Probably some more loot in here. This is actually the far one, so this is kind of where I think I should start. Again, we generally change as we go, but this is a good starting location, I feel like, and it should be in this somehow. 
Or is it back here? Okay, there is a boat here. It's right here. Uh, I just gotta figure out a way to get in without hopefully wasting any of my ammo or anything. Uh... Well, that's creepy. Oh. A guinea peg leg? Oh, a, a guinea a genuine peg leg. <laughs> Where's the treasure? That's what I want to know. All right, this is risky, but I haven't found any sort of explosives. I guess I do have the giant tank beside me. I don't want that big of an explosive, though, so I'm going to try and drive this down here. That's okay. That's okay. Hold on. Hold on. We are good. Look at that. Skills, baby. And now I should, as you can see, I tried to make it with the um, forklift. Doesn't get enough reach, but that's all I need. Perfect. Okay, so I've learned I can't simply just hack this. Uh, because that won't work. As you can see, I didn't get the check mark. So I thought I could just destroy them. No, we actually do have to hack them. So that takes this to the next level because I got to go up these freaking towers. All right, so I'm doing some testing. As you can see, I was able to, um, take this off the wall without destroying it. So I could do things like this putting them on the ground. The thing is, I have to hack each one of these. So I gotta be right beside it. It takes seconds, too. This is ridiculous. Uh, what the? I almost missed that. What the hell? Oh, dude. I'm gonna have to really just look around and start collecting a bunch of bombs. Because the bombs are gonna come in handy if I can take off the satellite dishes and whatnot. Uh, it looks like I can actually do the same thing here. Hence why the cord's probably over here. Let me see if that's the case. Because if that's the case, this is a job where I just got to figure out ways of getting these things off. I wonder, this is wood, so we should be able to just... Yeah, okay. This 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 changes it. I understand now. I thought I had to actually climb these. No, we can actually get them down. All right, so we'll worry about the placements later. As I said, I got to focus on one thing at a time, and that's getting these things down low. So I've already fooled around with this one, and I know the best way to do it. I've tried shooting it and everything. It just doesn't work. We're going to have to use one bomb on this. I think it's a a safe investment it should blow it off and there we go we are good okay and actually i think this is a good final one for these three because if you remember we can jump down here there's a boat right there that tells me we can probably take that boat do a little bit of maneuvering here i'm wondering if i can actually i should be able to drop these in the water i might even be able to grab them with a boat because yeah we have two as you can see on the coastline here i'm thinking if we grab the boat and get those that would be smart problem is we have one more and that's this one over here so i gotta figure out a way to add this one into it what the hell did i stumble on now i don't know why i'm complaining i'm getting more loot but yeah we have clearly some sort of camp out again being that this is like clearly an illegal facility there's so many little hidey spots like if you were just to walk by you'd never see that the big strategy of this game is finding all these freaking areas look at their little poop shack and here's the final tower. So again, ooh, do I want to drop that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it and fall. <gasps> oh, 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 no! Oh, damn it! Oh my god, what am I gonna do? Okay, so I can grab it. It's not as bad as I thought. I, can, I wonder if I can swivel this. I almost fell. No, it looks like it's stuck, unfortunately. But getting up here is going to be fun. Um, man, I don't even know where to start, guys. <laughs> this is insane. Oh, God, please tell me I can get across this. Ah! Oh, that was horrifying. I don't know if I'm going to make it underneath this. I don't think I'm going to use that bridge anyways, but I can make it underneath. So what I want to do right now, maybe, maybe oh, should I let that thing hang? I think it might be smarter to let that thing hang. Because what I want to make sure is this one is the final one we get over here. That way I can jump into the boat that's in the secret area. So if we start on the uh, on the uh, mountaintop here, grab this one, go over to this one, grab it, run over to here, and then run back. It's a little more run time, but at least it gives me a boat that's close to the next two, which are the ones way over here. I feel like that's my best chance of doing this. I don't know which way I'm going to take the boat. I'll figure that out later. But yeah, I actually think if this one hangs, I was going to build a bridge upwards with the crane, which is why I was bringing that over here. If this hangs, I might not even need to have this over here. I also have the ladders. These are actually movable. So I'm wondering, maybe I should try and use, utilize those. Because if it hangs here, I mean, maybe I can put the crane up to it. We got the tree in the way, obviously, but that's an easy fix. Ah! 
Ah, okay. So I can, I can get all the way up. This is not easy, but I can balance up here and hack this. So that one is all, all I need is one plank. So you gotta remember, I start up there, run down here, run up. Hopefully don't run into too many issues here. Grab it. And then I can go down this way. Um, I wonder if I can find a Jeep or something here. Cause obviously that's a far ways to go. Cause I need to get all the way to here. Oh yes, there is a Jeep. I knew there was one somewhere here. Perfect. Then we got to figure out how to get up to here because i want to get in there i also obviously need to get the satellite dish as well so i could maybe utilize this structure and build a plank bridge up or just build from the actual land itself some of this land looks actually pretty easy to get up and yeah i, I, I don't want to fumble around obviously but i feel if i build a bridge from maybe here this is probably my best bet and obviously we'll do some landscaping up here to uh make my path a little bit easier all right, so I think I got an idea. I'm going to put this here. I should be able to jump up here and obviously design a plank bridge. Don't even really need one up to here. The thing is, I got to make sure I have enough room for the Jeep to get through. So being that I can jump over this, the Jeep going through here should be okay. I just can't be stupid and uh, hit the actual uh, forklift. Let's just try this. I moved it a little bit closer. And yeah, as you can see, it's a little choppy, but not too bad. Hack this. And then what we're going to do is just blowtorch this off. Actually, what am I saying? I don't even think I need to blowtorch it because I can just put it down there. <laughs> All right. So now I can jump down, jump right in this boat. I haven't even tested this boat. I hope it's fast. And I have two different ways I can possibly do this. Either going this way and going around, which I don't think makes sense. And we can land kind of right here. There's a ladder here. That's probably too high up. I think I'd rather go for a sharp turn here and then land where our current package is. Then even run over there might make more sense. And then run back. This is rough, though. Honestly, I don't know if this is the best way to do this. I definitely will realign this boat more like this so I don't have to do that while we're playing. Not the fastest boat either, so maybe I should look for a better boat, honestly. All right, but yeah, the premise is still the same. I wanted the boat because I'm gonna need to figure out a way to get up. I think I'm... Oh, man, this is ridiculous. I, it's a lot higher than I thought. I mean, I could try and maneuver it and get a boat here perfectly and jump up like that. Gotta remember, I got 60 seconds to do all this crap, though. Oh. Oh, that was bad. All right. <laughs> okay, I have a way. It's not perfect, but it's something. I can actually ooh, make this jump, and then I could design something to climb up here. What I'm essentially trying to do is instead of run all the way from this one over here back to the ending, I want to start off here. The problem is this is the hardest spot. Getting over to here is going to be fun, but this is an option. It's workable. I just worry if I use all my planks now and this isn't fast enough, uh, I can't really take my planks back. So this is risky. All right, perfect. Something like that. Will this work? Hell yeah, it will. Perfect. Jump to that. And then we jump down there and do all these ones. Okay, it's not optimal, but hey, it's something. Are you serious? Oh, what? All right, so I was just testing the start of my run. As you can see, with 22.9 seconds left, if you get four, the freaking timer pauses. So that means, as per usual, when it comes to these heists, I'm overthinking it, thinking I had to do this all within 60 seconds. No, you just need to get a four, and then you're golden, baby. Technically, I'm done right now. I'm kind of... I, I kind of want to see if I can do it in 60 seconds now, because I still had 22.9 left. I, they're not even on the map anymore. I'm doing it anyways, damn it. You, you're not going to stop me. I can't even hack it. I can't even hack it. Are you serious? All right, let's see if I can do this. Now, I have no way of continuing the timer, so we'll just have to give it our best guess to see if I can actually do this in 60 seconds. I mean, worst case, we're doing the job as expected. I just uh, prepared this to do all freaking six of them in the 60 seconds. So we'll see if we can get anywhere near that. And so far, going quite well, as you can see. I'm really happy with this setup, honestly. And hack, 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 go. Got to make sure I land on this bush or I do die to this fall. Perfect shot. Now, this is the hard part. I can overshoot this pretty easily. There we go. A little bit of a bounce. Exactly how you want to do it. Land in that. There we go. 29 seconds left. 
three are done. Inside we go. That was perfect. This is definitely my best run. Not that I've done many of them. This is a hard jump, though. Let's see. We are still going, as you can see, with 22.9 seconds left. Uh, pretend we hacked this one. Bleep, bloop. We're done. And I'm so sad I can't actually do this because I think we would have got it. And here we go to the end. Over. I'm going to try and slow down. There we go. Perfect. Oh, my God. I don't know if this would have been enough. Bleep, bloop. There, we're done. And <laughs> to the exit. I feel pretty good with that. Wait, what? Do I actually have to drive this? <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? Oh, that's not even the escape vehicle. I went to the wrong boat. You get the idea. I could have added a couple seconds more to get over to this one by going through this jungle. <laughs> I thought that was the escape boat. Regardless, a great run. More than enough time to get all four. And, uh, man, wait, what? Why do I still have the, op why can I not click them if they're optional? Hold on, hold on, hold on, quick load. All right, so I think I know why the optionals aren't done and you can do them if you want. Basically, you need the final thing to be one of the yellows. Because once you hack two of the yellows and two of the whites, the time will pause. So if I actually make this the last one, which is what we were going to do at the start, that might work. That means if I start out at the top and then run around, we might have enough time to do this. I just got to design something to get from this white one over to here within the countdown timer. So we might actually be able to do all six of these. I just got to redesign once again. All right, so I made a quick dirty run. Let's see if we even have a chance. Again, we're hacking this one first now, and we'll see if we have enough time to get to the ending. I feel pretty good about this, being that we had 22 seconds left from the first one, and now we're not even doing the first one. I shouldn't have jumped there. That was some added time. So at least we know if we do screw up too much, I have some time there. Missed that, as you can see. I keep forgetting I have to hold the button. I freak out a bit. 34 seconds left. This is going to be freaking difficult, but this is more my style. Hack, hack, hack. If the hacking was faster, this would be much easier. Of course it is not, though. Okay. Uh, I got to remember which way to go. Thankfully, we're in a faster boat this time. There we go. And jump out. Jump up. Ooh. Ooh, I'm starting to shake. I'm starting to shake. Hack, hack, hack. Come on. 10 seconds left. Uh, okay. This way, this way, this way. This I made really quickly. <gasps> oh. I don't know if this is going to help. No, I should have just walked. I should have just freaking walked. You bastard. Okay. Okay. I can do this though. Okay. 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 Come on. 24 seconds. I don't know if this is any faster. Honestly, this is the hard part. I got to line this perfectly. And I hit the boat. I hit the boat. That's okay. That's okay. Come on. Oh, the double hack. That sucks. So what we're going to do this time is not go into the car. And see if we can actually do it this way. Because the startup of the car took too long. Oh, I missed the freaking thing. We will we'll have it. We'll have it. Yes, that was much better. Much better. Okay. I just got to focus and not get lost like I almost did there. I did hit a bit, but that's okay, I think. Come on, man. did it you jerks oh my god okay that took me about i'm not even joking 30 tries to finally get it done with 1.9 seconds left i don't know if that was the best run super happy i was able to finally get them all though get me the hell out of here this has not been a vacation this has been a nightmare oh all right and honestly that was so fun to design i love the fact that we didn't have anything at our disposal at the start this terrain too was absolutely insane every other map has been pretty easy to get around you know just blow through walls and build bridges and whatnot you couldn't really do that easily here i had to really analyze to figure out a decent route there's definitely better routes i can guarantee you that if you spend some time here you will find them but honestly i'm happy with that it was not easy it was a challenge and that's all I wanted, God damn it! Would you look at that? We're still on vacation. Now, I think I gotta take a break here, guys. I know I usually like to do more than one in these episodes, but that one took a long time. And honestly, I don't want to rush the content. The content of this is so damn good. Uh, yeah, let's appreciate it. And if they take too long, we'll obviously do one per level. Oh my god, the hammock actually works, dude. This is, this is the freaking life. Uh... 
thought I thought that was a body. It looks it looks kind of like a skeleton. What the hell is this place over here? Whoa! <laughs> Didn't expect to see you, little guy. I'm sorry. Is this supposed to be like a fish? Oh, it's a diving fin. Th thanks, game, for letting me know. Can I put them on? God, I wish I could put them on. Does that mean there's something here? I feel like that's a that's a hint. I don't see anything, unfortunately. All right, so yeah, aside from massive freaking starfish, I don't really see much here, unfortunately. So that's a little bit of a bummer. But man, it's good to be on vacation, right? Oh, we even got little crabby crabs. Be free, my fellow crab. <laughs> What the hell is this? Oh, that's cool. It looks like one of those fun little inflatables you can go on. Okay, I, I could spend so much time here. Let's just take a break. Uh, we'll explore more of this in the next one. Thank you so much for your support, guys. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.